Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. It's been a little while, but I wanted to make this update today. I've been very busy, but I have some time today to finally make an update. So right now my portfolio is at $97,874.79. In the past year, I am up $20,374.47. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $5,708.67. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $1,376.20. And after hours, I am up $603.78. So overall, around $2,000 up today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Disney $92 covered calls. These expire September 13th. My total return, $240. I'm selling Google $160 covered calls. These expire September 13th. My total return $233. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire sept sorry, September 13th. My total return $780. I'm selling Amazon $175 covered calls. These expire September 20th. My total return, I am down $135. I'm selling SoFi $7.5 covered calls. These expire September 20th. My total return, zero. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, zero. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $4. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, $295. I have McDonald's $200, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $870. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,820. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $853. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $600. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $551. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $175.05. My average cost, $176.44. My total return, I am down $416.14. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.19. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $9,476.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $88.44. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $8,376. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $148.65. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $617. This is a margin account. My margin total is $94,897.29.
My margin use is $55,738.43. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $17,158.88 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $31,061.34. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55% and the daily interest I'm paying is $10.17. I am borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So I know it's been a little while, but I've just been busy taking care of things, you know, outside of my portfolio or YouTube or any of that. So uh, I took a couple days off, but now I'm back making videos again. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing much to report here. Nothing really big or significant. I mean, it's just another day. So something new, a lot of things new, actually. Um, so my Amazon shares, I have 300 shares now, but I'm selling covered calls on it. I had to buy them back because my shares got called away. So I bought back 300 shares of Amazon, but when I'm selling my covered calls, I actually chose an at the money strike price. So Amazon right now is at 175 and 15 cents. And I am selling the Amazon covered call at the $175 strike price. So if it stays this way, my shares might get called away and I'll also gain a little bit of money from, you know, the premiums from the covered calls, but I'm taking a different approach than I was before. Before I was trying to pick a strike price that I thought would stay above the share price at expiration. But in this case, I don't mind if it does get called away. Now that it's already happened, I feel like I've kind of ripped the bandaid off, so to speak. So I would be comfortable just doing the same thing again. You know, if my Amazon shares get called away, I'll just buy the mag again, sell maybe at the money covered calls. Um, we'll see. I am overall long-term bullish on Amazon. So I still want to own it in some capacity uh, long-term, but in terms of it getting called away in the short term, um, I've been more comfortable with that recently. Same thing with my positions in general, but SoFi, I've decided to... So what? here's what happened. I was selling puts on SoFi at the $7 strike price, and at expiration, I think it ended like exactly at $7, exact, uh, during the last expiration that I had it in, and then because of that, yeah, I think it was here on September 6th, it ended like maybe slightly or above or slight around $7 exact. And I actually got assigned. I don't know. The, the person on the other side decided that they're going to, uh, you know, give me the shares. So I have 400 more shares than I did before. Before I only had 6,000. Now I have 6,400. So I have the extra 400 shares. Now with the original 6,000 that I already had, as you can see, I'm selling the SoFi $8 covered call, right? And I have 60 of these for the 6,000 shares. However, for the other 400, I have this. I'm selling the SoFi $7.5 covered calls. And as you can see, contracts four for the 400 shares that I got recently because I was, you know, selling SoFi puts, cash secured puts, and then I ended up getting the shares, which is fine. I don't mind. Now, this is more of like leaning more towards getting premium. Honestly, I was even thinking of choosing the $7 strike price, but I felt like seven and a half this time. I'm, I'm already doing eight. I'm already doing the $8 strike price for these. So this is already lower enough. Although I'm debating it. If if SoFi goes a lot lower right before the expiration date, I might I might change my mind and change it to seven dollar strike price. But for now, seven and a half dollar strike price is fine. Another thing to note. No, not many things to note here. Everything else is sort of business as usual. Disney's ninety two dollar uh, covered call. Google one sixty. Both the share prices are below those numbers right now. 
using at 88 Google at 148 so I guess we'll see now today is the 9th and a bunch of these expire on the 13th so those are the next ones I'm paying attention to and then I have the Amazon covered calls that expire the end of next week as well as the seven half dollar SoFi covered calls expiring next week as well but within the next two weeks all of these positions are expiring so I'll keep a close eye on them and decide what to do next but that's it for now and it's been going you know not spectacular but it's been going okay I'm not too mad at the results it is what it is all right um I'll keep on making more of these videos so if you guys like this type of content please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more of these thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye